Hello and welcome back to Women's Football Talk, the YouTube channel that brings you all the latest news and stories from around the world of women's football. Now before we get into today's video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell so you never miss a video of ours and make sure you are following us on Twitter and on Instagram for all the latest news and stories when it happens. Welcome back to the weekly transfer roundup. Now we are coming into the penultimate weeks now of the transfer window here in England. We've got just over uh, 10 days or so left of the window before it closes on the 8th of September. So some deals are still getting announced by clubs and it's going to be a very topsy-turvy time now as we enter the international period again. Um, so I'm not expecting many deals to be announced over this next coming week or so. So it really could be a busy last week of the, in terms of the deadline. So we've had a, not a lot of transfers this week, but um, two big rumours regarding Barcelona, and we'll get straight on into those deals. And so the first one was that Manchester City have rejected two bids for Kira Walsh from FC Barcelona. Now apparently the Spanish side are keen on signing a midfielder, and um, due to Alexia Patanis' injury, and Kira Walsh is seen. The, as the main option to replace Pateas for now so it's going to be very interesting to see whether uh, she does come in and replace him and uh, whether Barcelona do go in with a third bid now as of time of recording there were some reports coming out on Friday evening that Barcelona had offered a seven figure deal for Kira Walsh uh, so but, uh, there had been no more confirmed reports on that but I expect Barcelona to try and move, make a move for Kira Walsh again this summer. There was also uh, rumours as well uh, a few days ago that Barcelona are going in a, with a €500,000 bid for VFL Wolfsburg and Netherlands international Gilles Rod. Uh, now Rod's only recently moved to Wolfsburg as of 2021 when she left Arsenal uh, but again Rod is seen as a very key player who could help Barcelona get back to Champions League glory and compete in that midfield. So there are just two rumours that are floating around Barcelona at this minute in time but whether those deals do happen remains to be seen. Now there has been some confirmed deals so Chelsea confirmed the signing of uh, Jelena Kankovic on a three-year deal. Kankovic joins uh, from Rosengard and is a very highly rated Serbian international so that's a very good signing for Emma Hayes' side and it's been another good summer for Emma Hayes' side as they look to strengthen and progress even further into the Champions League and look to hold on to their WSL title. PSG have confirmed the signing of Bergling Bjorg Thorsvald Dottier on a two year deal. Uh, it's a very good signing for Thorsvald Dottier and uh, she's very highly uh, thought of uh, during the uh, past European uh, summers and she joins from uh, SK Brankvina in Denmark. Uh, elsewhere, Alex Popper signed a new deal to remain at VFL Wolfsburg until 2025. Now, obviously, Pop's on the back of a fantastic European Championships with Germany, where unfortunately she had to miss the final due to injury. But Tommy Stroot's side have done very well this summer in getting their key players to re sign with them, so that's a very good deal there. Uh, Everton have announced the line, loan signing of Aggie Beaver Jones, the youngster joins. Uh, for this 2022-23 season and she's also signed a new deal to remain at Chelsea until 2025. That's the same with Georgia Fox as well. She has been loaned to Brighton and Hove Albion in the WSL for this season and will remain at Chelsea again until 2025. And the final bit of Chelsea news, uh, again until 2025, midfielder Guru Wrighton has signed a new deal to remain at Kings Meadow. So some very good deals that Chelsea have managed to get over the line over this past week in terms of getting players renewed and uh, even bring it in Jankovic as well. Tabina Potsdam have signed uh, former London City Lioness and ex-England under 23s player Molly Roos. Um, the contract length of Roos's deal was not uh, disclosed however it's a good move for her after playing some years in the lower leagues here in England. Danish side Bronbury have signed Freya Abilda from Sporting Club Huvuela a year after she left for the Spanish side so it's a very similar to what happened with Joelle Smith. She leaves her side to try and get that big move and try and progress in her career however it didn't happen so she has returned back to Bronbury in uh, the 
Danish League and Gotham FC in the NWSL have completed the signing of Brazilian defender Bruninha, who's a highly rated 20 year old who's been uh, at the under 20 World Cup with Brazil and she signed through to the end of next season, obviously pending her visa and uh, getting the right stuff as well. And then um, some news about some highly talented Aston Villa youngsters. So uh, Olivia Rabjohn has joined Coventry United in the Barclays, w, uh, Barclays Women's Championship on dual registration. So similar to what I said about Chloe Williams and Neve Murphy last season where most of the time they'll probably be training with uh, Aston Villa. Uh, in terms of Rabjohn, she'll be training with Aston Villa during the week and then towards the end of the week she'll go to Coventry and then obviously play with them on match day. And her younger sister, Evie Rabjohn, uh, the 17 year old, is being linked with a move to one of the top four sides in the WSL. She's been linked with Chelsea, Arsenal and Manchester City, whilst Manchester United failed to, in a bit to sign Rabjohn this summer but retained a strong interest in pursuing a move for the centre back and that was reported by Catherine Badge. Um, here in England so it's going to be a very big uh, final 10 days or so as we come towards the start of the season here in England and edge towards the uh, closing of this uh, transfer window so we'll be back next week obviously if there's deals done uh, but if there's not we will obviously make sure when it comes to the deadline day uh, here in England we'll have a wrap up show of that and looking at any other deals as well and then obviously we'll have all our usual uh, previews stuff coming out over the coming weeks for the new WSL season but like I said at the start make sure you like and subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so you never miss a video of ours and follow us on Twitter and on Instagram as well for all the latest news and stories from around the world of women's football and until next time we'll see you soon <laughs>